Hi, this is Teresa Bennett, the Analyst Coach, and today I wanted to show you an example of a screen mock-up tool. It's, um, you know, screen mock-ups are something that business analysts are expected to do, and before we get into that, I want to talk about the differences between a screen mock-up and screen design. Screen designs are typically done by a UI designer, and the biggest difference that you'll see between the mockups and the screen design is that the screen design is really, it includes all of the data, how it's going to be laid out on the screen, where it's going to be, and then along with that, the style guide that goes with the application. So, so it should have the correct fonts, it should have the branding on the site, logos, that type of thing. Um, the correct um, font size, the correct colors, all of that should be included in a screen design. In a screen mock-up, what you want to do is show, here's the data that we're going to display on each screen, and here's where we're going to display it on the screen, right? So you don't want to um, get into colors and um, styles and that type of thing when you're looking at screen mockups. Generally the screen mockup is um, coming during the analysis phase of um, the software uh, development lifecycle. You are, you know, you've already gotten the requirements, you've gotten them documented, you've probably created your use cases, you know how everything's going to flow and then you take that information and you put it into screen mockups so that you can give a visual representation to your business partners on how it's really going to look for them on the screen and you don't want them to get sidetracked at that point about colors fonts those kind of things right you just want them to concentrate on here's the data that's being displayed and where it's being displayed at so the best way to do that is to show them a basic screen mockup uh, one of the tools that I like, um, it's my favorite tool for doing screen mockups, is Balsamic. And that is spelled B A L S A M I Q. It's a great tool, it's very basic. Um, you know, it doesn't have uh, a lot of fluff to it. And, um, you know, I'm all about leaving the fluff out of things. You'll know if you've taken any of my trainings that um, I don't do fluff. So I like applications that don't do fluff too. So Balsamic is a great tool and I wanted to show it to you real quick and show you how easy and quickly you can, you know, do screen mockups. So if we look at what I have here on the screen, this is the, like the home screen for, um, for Balsamic. And you see up here at the top here, all of these different options for, um, adding something to your screen. So this area down here is your screen design area and these are the things that you can put on the screen. So let's assume that we're working on a screen that that displays some customer information. So I'm going to go here and look for what I think is um, the best way to depict that <clears throat> and I see this data grid table. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that in and so now if I just click here you'll see what the grid looks like, right? And, it, and then they've got it pre-filled with some information and we're going to change that because we want to show our business partners the data that we uh, really are talking about, right? So I'm going to click in here and, and change the columns. So this first row are your column headings. So I'm going to make this customer name. I will make this street address and let's go city and here let's do um, gold customer and we're going to change some of the names that are in here so I'm going to change this to Teresa Bennett my street will be 100 Main Street and my city will be Charlotte. And then we may have a Mary Jones and let's say her address is 200 South Street and she is in Raleigh. Okay, 
that should be enough for you to see. So you see how the information changed? So the columns that I changed changed here and of course you would go through and change all of them or you can delete rows. You don't have to have as many rows that are in here or you can add more rows however you want to you know depict your data. The other thing that you might want to do if you know there, that the screen could show uh, enough results that you have to have a scroll bar you could add a scroll bar. So we have to find the scroll bar. Here it is. So see this vertical scroll bar? We could put it on here and we just need to make it a little bigger and now we show in our screen mockup that we do expect that there'll be enough data on the screen that we'll have to scroll, right? And the other thing that you would probably want to do is let's assume on this screen that we were able to um, select data and you know either go on and see additional information or maybe even be able to delete a customer from here. So we'll put a button down here and we'll call it submit. So we're saying that they could select Mary Jones and click the submit button and it would take them to another screen of which you would do a screen mock-up of that screen then to show them what's on there. And the other thing that they might be able to do is to delete a customer. So here we would create a button that says delete. So they have two options on this screen. Select a user or select a customer and hit the submit button or select a customer and hit the delete button. Now we know it's standard practice when you are going to do a delete that you want to confirm that they actually want to delete, right? And, and so that they don't accidentally do it. So here we could add an alert box and our alert would say, are you sure you want to delete this customer? And let's change this. I want the yes first and the no second. Okay. So there's our box, right? So you could do one screen first, one screen mock-up that's just like this, and then you do a second copy of the screen mock-up with this on it and set and you tell them when you select somebody and you click delete this is the alert you'll see and it and it shows them this is how it's going to look it's going to pop up over top of the grid and it's going to have this message in it. it gives them an opportunity to tell you if that message is correct or not and then like I said you would go on with other screens uh, you know, if they clicked on somebody and hit submit and then the next screen showed more details about the customer, you would want to do a screen mock-up for that. If this initial screen maybe had more things on it, there's uh, maybe a left panel where there's some other options or a right panel where there's other data displayed. Maybe you've got, you know, um, payment information stored for the customer, things like that that might be displayed. You'd have them, you know, in other areas of the screen. But the point is I just wanted to show you how easy and quick it is to do a screen mock-up, especially using this tool. And these are the kind of things that you want your business um, partners to see. These are the things that you want them to understand. This is how it's going to look on the screen, right? Um, so really, really great uh, tool to have and screen mockups are a great way to get a visual representation um, to the business partners for um, what, uh, what it will end up looking like in the end, right? I hope you enjoyed this, um, you know, this overview of the balsamic tool. I'm sure there's other great mockup tools out there too. I'm not saying that you know, this is the only good one, but it's one that I'm really comfortable with and I really enjoy using and I think it's a great tool for the buy. Um, I haven't checked lately, but a couple months ago, the last time I looked, the price um, for a license was $79, which is the same price as the license was a couple years ago when I bought it. So it's not, um, I don't think they make a habit of raising prices. Um, and really that's a great price for a license, even if you have to buy it yourself. I did that. I bought my own license and I've used it at several different companies I've gone to. So um, really great option. Check into it. If you would like more information on um, uh, the programs that I offer for self-study courses or the coaching and mentoring that I do one-on-one -on -one with people, you can go to my website and check that out. This video is going to be on there, but it's also going to be on YouTube and a couple other places. So just in case you get to it somewhere else, the uh, website is www.theanalystcoach.net.
Thanks.